happy Monday, Marvel Legends fans. We are with you for another Hasbro Pulse Fan First Monday edition. Uh, we are the Marvel Legends Big Three, Alien, Android, and Wizard. I'm really trying to force this as a thing uh, in all of our communications. But as always, I am Ryan from Marketing, joined by Dan, also in Marketing, and the man in the middle uh, leading up Legends Design, Dwight. And so just a couple of quick things before we get started. Uh, this is live broadcasting. And so Dan's internet signal is having a couple of glitches. And so we're not going to be able to hear him. But we wanted to keep the team together because this is the Marvel Legends Big Three. So Dan's still going to be on screen observing and reacting. But um, he just won't be able to, to talk as much as we wanted him to. So maybe check him out on Twitter. And then you'll get his thoughts on, on Legends and a whole host of other topics there. But um, one more note, too. We have an action-packed agenda. We've got some MCU movie. We've got Disney Plus streaming. And we've got some comic goodies at the end, some future teases for those comic Legends fans. Uh, it just, just as a warning, if you have been really busy uh, with work or life over the past week and you haven't seen the Shang-Chi trailer or you haven't yet finished the Falcon and the Winter Soldier season on Disney Plus. Just a warning up front, there will be minor spoilers. We're not we're not going deep on anything, but we are showing some characters um, in different looks that you know have showed up throughout the the last episodes and talking a little bit about our speculation from some of the Shang-Chi marketing. So if you would rather preserve your knowledge of all of those things, maybe skip ahead 30 minutes to the end where we talk about our, our comic teases. So fair warnings before we jump ahead into the agenda. So first up, let's talk Shang-Chi. Now this wave, as we all know, is available now. It's in stores, it's online. Go get it if you haven't already. But when we first uh, previewed the, the two comic figures of this wave, we didn't show where they were going. We now know it is in this Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure wave. And of course, for the Shang-Chi film, we've got four movie characters, all of whom were prominently featured in the trailer. Can't wait for this film to come out. Look forward to more uh, of the same. So let's take a look at some of the figures and Dwight can maybe talk us through you know, what, what he enjoyed most about designing these. So first up, let's start with the man himself, Shang-Chi. He comes with a very interesting accessory that appears to me to be all new, right, Dwight? Uh, yeah, uh, he, this uh, entire figure is all new. Uh, Shang-Chi comes with uh, his bow staff, which you saw in the trailer. And he will have multiple hands for different types of uh, action poses. So um, by the end of this film, you, should, you guys should never need to buy any more uh, action figure hands at all. I mean, we got piles of hands. So we got lots and lots of uh, these things for all of our different uh, characters in this film. So uh, you can get them in some really sweet poses, as you can see there. Um, the costume is awesome. Uh, beautiful red and black. It looks so cool, and I think this figure will look awesome in your collection. And uh, just one more uh, amazing piece of the Marvel Universe being opened up to us now with uh, the uh, Shang-Chi universe. Yeah, those training montage scenes of in the trailer when he was like a little a little boy and learning uh, those skills, that was pretty sweet. Uh, and then for those younger fans out there, the, the kids team developed this really fun electronic bow staff item, speaking of the importance to that weapon. So um, definitely go, go, go get that as well. So the next character uh, that, you know, has been, I think, teased throughout the Marvel Universe, going back to Iron Man 1 and the Ten Rings organization. But we're going to look at Shang-Chi's father here, Wen Wu. This is a, he has a really cool looking sword as well, which is, is all new. Yeah, along with uh, the the um, an all new sculpt for Wen Wu uh, and multiple hands like we just discussed, he will also come with this really cool looking like tech uh, hook sword. So um, it's a it's I don't know it's just it's every character in this film will have some new weapons and hook swords are absolutely. Uh, one of the coolest things um i've ever i actually got a set i got my set here so you know when we've got his like uh modern tech ones i've got my uh more uh, ancient ones um don't ask me why i have these but i do and uh you know oh that's a good sound isn't it uh metal metal clinking what a great sound so uh yeah his are probably a little bit more badass than mine but you know i'm just saying you know don't play with those things unless you've been properly trained, boys and girls, because th there's like every part of that weapon is dangerous. There's pointy things all over it, and you don't need to put holes in yourself or your walls. Dwight is bringing the heat with the props today already, two for two. I'm, I'm excited <laughs> for what else is to come. Uh, and those hook swords, while great, not official Marvel Legends products, folks, so uh, just to, to make that clear. No. But um, yeah, so so that Wenwu figure looks awesome. There's a kid role play. Uh, 
10 rings blaster too. You saw those things on his arms. We didn't, we don't really know too much about it. It was in like two seconds of the trailer kind of glowing and doing something. So I guess we'll see what, what they do. Uh, so the next movie character we're going to look at is Xia Ling. So this is uh, Shang-Chi's sister, I believe in, in the story. Um, and, and an all new figure here with a interesting looking little rope kind of, kind of weapon there. Right, Dwight? Yeah, she's got a, a dart whip um, and uh, also multiple poses, um, fully articulated. She has single elbows, but they do go past 90 um, degrees. I got her here, and you can see this is the elbow at 90, and it goes, you know, it bends nicely past that. So she's a really cool figure. Uh, beautiful detailing on the white and black scribe work across the top of her uh, chest. It's um, all the costumes, uh, you know, are really. Um, they're just beautiful i mean across this whole universe so i think uh they're gonna look amazing and uh it was really cool to translate them into plastic form and i'm really proud of them and hopefully you guys are enjoying adding them to your collection and then the last figure here a very colorful looking character um in the trailer so this is death dealer of course dealing dealing some death yep. there and and throwing some <laughs> some little knives we have an alternate an alternate hand set up yeah, he's got some uh, alternate hands. He's got a hand posed out ready to throw. He's got a throwing hand. Um, this guy's got lots of, uh, he, likes his, uh, he likes his knives. Um, maybe he's a, a fan of Loki or something. I don't know, but he's got lots of knives. He's got knives on his back. He's got knives in his hands uh, and a really, really cool um, iconic mask that I think, you know, definitely will read as his for um, all of the years to come as a very unique and, um, pretty badass looking character. There's his knives on his back. He's got this little like uh, cross knives on his back. So pretty cool stuff. All right. So those are the four movie characters. And then we also wanted to focus on the new build a figure uh, in this comic base. This is Mr. Hyde. He's got some really interesting things going on in the head sculpt and hands, I think. So Dwight, quickly take them through this. Yeah, he's a uh, um, he's kind of he's built off of that uh, Mister Fix It uh, body size. Um, so if you don't have him in hand just yet, that gives you an idea for the scale of this figure. And he comes with his cane. Um, I'm gonna beat you down, stick. He's got hairy, gross backsides of his uh, hands painted. He's got really busted, gross fingernails and a really, really cool. Um, uh, creeped out eyes with his little bowler cap. So he's got his underbite fangs. There you go. You can see a really good picture of him there. He's got like some seriously uh, uh, bloodshot eyes. This guy needs some uh, eye drops real bad to get himself back, you know, to go in his proper formal wear that you see him rocking with his bow tie and stuff. So um, a long overdue character in classic form. Um, ready for you guys to know, you know, this is mixing classic with movie, of course, but that just to show you the scale of the figure. So. It's pretty pretty big guy. Yeah, and that cane I noticed is significantly longer than the kingpin, like diamond cane. So it's cool that he has this really you know big accessory to whip around there. So there you have Mr. Hyde. He he culminates the six figure build a figure wave. There was one bonus uh, movie Shang Chi item as well, which I think is already out there, but wanted to cover it off as well. This is Marvel's Katie as seen in the Shang-Chi film played by Aquafina, of course. Um, it, and she comes with, I'll, I'll just kick it over to you, Dwight. What do you want to tell them about this one? <laughs> uh, yeah, Katie comes <laughs> with uh, some cool, uh, she's got a short bow. She's got a quiver. Um, the bow and the uh, arrow stack, as well as the single arrow, can all fit into the quiver on her back. Um, the backpack sw slings over her shoulder. Um, she has the alternate hands for bow uh, holding or for punching, and she comes with a really cool mystical creature that I'm sure we'll all find out a lot more about when the movie hits this fall. That is definitely an interesting looking creature, uh, to say the least, but yeah, that comes back. with the Katie figure. Yeah. So those are all available cool. out now. This. Oh, sorry. You can keep, keep talking. I just got the little little uh, guy with his wings and stuff. He's pretty cool. No, show it off. You, you have a little creature joining you there, too. Uh, yeah. This okay, is so that the, is... One of the two loud ones. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys hear on the stream, those are, those are Dwight's little pups. 
Uh, cool. So that is the Shang-Chi recap. Now we wanted to shift gears a little bit and talk Disney+. Plus. Now, this is something that Dan and I and Dwight have been waiting for a very long time to talk with you guys about. And just a little bit of a peek behind the curtain. Uh, for those of you who have seen the, the season finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, at this point, you probably should have. It's already Monday. But to pull in a quote from that, uh, when, we, when we started thinking about the marketing and the reveals and the pre-orders for, for Disney Plus for this year, the quote is, things are about to get weird. And the reason for that is... Uh, the way these Disney Plus shows have, have been released as a viewer, I, I personally love it because it's six or eight episodes released every Friday. It gives you something to look forward to. It's something manageable. Um, you know, it, it helps in the, the fan discourse and speculation of it, uh, as opposed to the old model where you would drop 12 episodes on one day and there's all this pressure to rush through it. Um, I love Daredevil, but when you're dropping 13 episodes of a Daredevil season, I couldn't keep up. So that's just a way to say that basically with this staggered release, of episodes and multiple shows, we couldn't just show you all the Legends figures when we wanted to. We had to do the slow rollout. So that's why we've been working with Marvel on the Marvel must-haves. For instance, right, the White Vision figure and the Scarlet Witch figure, they didn't they didn't appear to, until towards the end of the season. I think that Scarlet Witch costume wasn't was like in the last 10 minutes of the show, right? So so as much as we would love to, as soon as everyone is seeing these new characters on Disney Plus to come out with our legends, we do need to hold it a little bit closer to the vest so that the appropriate marketing uh, can come out and tie into that. So just wanted to kind of clear that up as you continue to see more Disney Plus content and new characters being introduced and new looks, you know, we're, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to most of them eventually, just not the Friday it comes out in a lot of cases. So with that said, let's jump into a quick little recap um, of a character that was important for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This is John F. Walker, Captain America. And just a reminder that this awesome item from our team, including the packaging team, uh, is still up for pre-order on Walmart. This was such a fun item to do. It looks exactly like in that opening I believe it was the opening moments of episode two when they're introducing John Walker on the football field with the big celebration. He's, he autographs one of those um, in-package toys. And so we really translated that to the total offering. It's an amazing figure. I love the, the Wyatt Russell likeness there. Um, and so that's just a really cool item. Go out and get it. I have one here and it's, it's really, really fun. It's something different. It's not our traditional Legends box, but it's exactly like what you see inspired by the television show. So there you have your John F. Walker, Captain America. Another item that we're going to continue to plug, it's been super important throughout the show, is of course the new Captain America shield. And this is that shield that Steve Rogers gave to Sam Wilson at the end of Endgame. And it's become a very important um, theme and an item throughout the show. So this is the new Disney Plus Falcon and Winter Soldier Captain America shield with all new sculpting in the star and the silver ring you see there. Dan and I have them. It is available everywhere you get your Marvel Legends premium role play items, including the Hasbro Pulse. So go out and get that. Throw it around in your backyard if you want. Set up some of those pads on Mine the trees. Doesn't match. You can try <laughs> Dwight, Dwight, that's an old metal one that Dwight has. Um, not not the new one. But uh yeah, mate, Dwight, we'll hook you up. We'll get you a new one. How about that? I hope so, because now I look like the idiot here with the wrong shield. I have three shields. This shield's wrong. Those shields are wrong. I'm just failing all across. I just got to mess up an F minus. You brought the t-shirt though. So that, that made up for it today. Yeah. The Captain America t-shirt. All right. So with that, let's talk about some new Falcon and the Winter Soldier items that all the Legends fans are sure to em embrace. Of course, I'm talking about Falcon and the Winter Soldier Monopoly, the world's favorite family board game of course this is a new item that is coming out it should be available for pre-order later today um and seriously I, I worked on the monopoly brand for several years so i love monopoly uh go out and get this one you see all the the core characters there zemo sharon carter carly uh coming to you and the family in a monopoly game okay so let's move on to the legends now finally i can feel the chat getting irritated with me, just wasting time. But let's go into the to the Disney Plus Legends. These are some of the figures you've already seen, but we're going to take a quick look, quick look at them. First up, let's start with Wanda in her Scarlet Witch attire there. This has been out. This was a super this is a super awesome figure. I really love the likeness Dwight here. I think you guys nailed it uh, with the crown and everything. 
how was it working on a brand new Elizabeth Olsen figure? Oh, it's also it's always cool to see uh, to get to revisit characters with new looks. And I think this is the first time she's had like a well, this is the first time she's been called the Scarlet Witch. So it makes sense that this is the first time she has a very, um, you know, comic, a more comic inspired look. So um, it was awesome to take a crack at it. Uh, she's got some cool alternate hex power glowy hands and magic effects and they can pop off and have the more traditional hands uh the lightness is really really uh spot on she's got a, the cool crown and some uh beautiful red flowing hair so um it was awesome to to revisit her and uh obviously with her you got to have a uh, vision right vision is up here yeah go ahead ryan no i was just gonna say this this was a special holdback too um in terms of a surprise for everyone, bringing something in, into the comics. So this, what I believe the the cape is new here. Is that right, Dwight? Yeah, he's got a new cape. He's got a new uh, likeness. Um, a real kind of kind of cold, deadpan uh, expression on this one, with the uh, mind stones obviously missing, and it's replaced by that blue tech that was in the middle of his forehead, and he's got these uh, creepier, kind of whited out eyes. So um, this costume, you know. Uh, we got a couple of rounds of updated reference and we're, we kept trying to tweak it as best we could um, as the reference changed as we got a little bit closer to its reveal date. Um, but he's really cool. Um, the cape is also translucent, uh, like it's kind of phasing, kind of digitized. Um, I think he's a uh, he'll, he'll look awesome uh, next to um, Elizabeth. And uh, there you go. A cool new version for Vision and Wanda. Yeah, you can take this white vision and have him battling either of your previous visions to recreate that that scene where they're brawling in the library, I want to say. Uh, so that was our WandaVision uh, recap. Let's just let's jump ahead for a second to Loki, which is a the next show following uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier premiering in June, early June. So this is an, an all new Tom Hiddleston uh, likeness here. We I think a lot of the show is still shrouded in mystery. We know it has to do with with alternate realities, but uh, walk them through this uh, new Hiddleston. Yeah, uh, Tom's got uh, a new short tie. You know, exciting, right? Short ties. I don't know. It's a weird uh, new uh, universe. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that, dogs. Uh, wonderful, wonderful animals. Love animals. Uh, so Tom here has his cool jacket, jacket with his uh, uh, the Time Variance Authority uh, logo on the chest. On the back of him, it says variant, as you saw in the trailer, and I'm sure all of that will be made clear to us as we uh, dive into Loki coming, what, mid-June? June 11th, I think, is when that one launches, so more awesome Disney Plus coming to follow up Falcon and the Winter, Winter Soldier really soon, and, uh, you know, it's just, a, you know, another deeper dive into a universe that we don't know a whole lot about of outside of Asgard. So super excited to see where they go with the show and uh, where we might go with the action figures. Yeah, there you go. All right. So that more to come for Loki. Maybe, maybe there's more legends, Loki figures uh, coming later this year. Maybe not. We'll find out. So let's go back now to do the full Falcon and winter soldier recap. Uh, Jumping into uh, a character that was revealed in the Marvel must have. This is the dancing sensation <laughs> taking over the world. Baron Zemo with his his little uh, his his notebook there. Yep. Yeah, he's he's got his little uh, his uh, the Winter Soldier book, the activation book. Uh, he's got uh, the alternate masked and unmasked uh, heads for him. Um, I think the uh, Daniel likeness is really, really solid. One of uh, the best ones we've done to date. And uh, there you go. You got to see him with his purple mask, which, you know, he got out of the back of one of his cars in that uh, second episode, I think. Um, I think we saw it a couple times, right? So, um, you know, and uh, he made a little visit again in the final episode. So it's always cool to see this character and uh, looking forward to wherever he goes in the continuing universe of uh, the MCU. Yeah, he's he's chilling in the raft uh, now after after his escapades this season. So hopefully he's back because uh, we need to see some more dance moves. That's for sure. Next <laughs> character up is a, a new version of Bucky, the Winter Soldier, the White Wolf. He just looks great here with his all new metal arm there. Right, Dwight? 
Yeah, nice new uh, Wakandian uh, black metal and gold uh, accented arm. So a little bit different than the last uh, arm we did for him, which was in the silvers with the red star. This is his new Wakandian arm, which we saw in a you know couple of key moments throughout this uh, this series. Uh, he's got his nice blue uh, leather kind of uh, jacket. Once again, the likeness for uh, Sebastian here is really, really uh, strong. And the photo reel process brings it to life for you guys. So I think it's uh, the, probably the, the best, most accurate uh, Winter Soldier we've done so far. And uh, he's got the alternate hands for gripping or punching. We know he likes to do both with uh, his arm in this uh, series. So uh, you can do it with your toys punching fixing boats he can he can do it all and i really like how the stubble the stubble came across um just looking closely at this figure with the photo reel process it's it's come along nicely um so that is our sebastian stan figure the next figure in the wave is uh he was only shown for for a minute there but it is a strong allusion to the comics and and i think we'll see more at some point uh this is the u.s agent it's the same but black that was a quote from the episode. Um, yeah, so this this was a fun um, take on that. And, and our engineer is a big US agent fan in the comics, so I like to tease him for that. <laughs> yeah, it was cool to, to take another crack at why. It was nice to see him uh, shave again and make himself look presentable for the very fat last bit of it because uh, he was presentable in the very first couple episodes, and then he uh, got kind of the, the beard that I've got going now. So I think we're going to need to revisit uh, Wyatt at some point in the future and get a little bit more uh, beardy versions of him because he had some uh, rough patches in the middle of the series and uh, it showed in his uh, wear and tear. So uh, that's all right. Get, let's just revisit it. We also uh, didn't know about his uh, homemade shield that he uh, had. So we got some cool extra bits and pieces that were, uh, we now know that we're missing and we'll have to try to find a way to bring those out to you as we learn more about where this character goes in uh, future ventures. All right, and so saving the best for last, of course, it is the new Captain America, Sam Wilson, in his awesome new suit, I think heavily inspired uh, by the comics as well. And we did a version of this uh, years ago, a comic version in a three-pack. But Dwight, walk him through everything that went into this all-new amazing figure. Yeah, Sam looks uh, amazing in his uh, Captain America, red, white, and blue, and all of its glory. Uh, he comes with a shield with uh, straps. Uh, that can go up and down his arms uh, to let him carry it. And he is just fully articulated, double elbows, pinless, double knees, pinless, uh, ab crunch. Um, his goggles are translucent. They're kind of a, a milky, shiny color that you can see. Uh, if you look through them, you can see that he actually has decoed eyes underneath, uh, which is a really cool extra detail. And the costume is beautiful. Um, period, right? It just looks really cool and obviously highly inspired by his looks from the books. And uh, we were super proud to be able to, you know, create Sam here and bring him out in, uh, in toy form. Uh, now that the episode's revealed, we can reveal it. So it's just cool. Cool to get him out there. Cap's back again, but different, but better. He's back. <laughs> that should be That should be on the poster. We, let's talk to uh, our friends at the studio. Um, cool. So we, we do, we're doing something a little different with the Build-A-Figure here. I mean, there's, there was no really like large character in any of these shows to, to really do. They're all kind of real world type characters, but we wanted to um, really give fans the full experience of the new Captain America. So let's, Dwight, talk them through just like the Build-A-Figure and how it came to be and why we think it's so cool. Okay, uh, Wakandian wings, right? I guess that's what we can call them now since uh, his old suit came from uh, Wakanda, uh, courtesy of uh, a gift from Bucky. Um, so what we have here is a all new uh, jet pack uh, with kind of a flight stand that you can attach to Sam and get him kind of hovering right off the ground. And we've got some cool new bells and whistles that we've never done before um, uh, or in toy. We have the little mini, you can see Red Wing poking out over his shoulder. Um, Red Wing is on a post that goes onto the backpack. So when he's standing, Red Wing can be facing forward. And when he goes into flying mode, there's a rotation point that you can pivot so that Red Wing can still be flying with Sam uh, going in the direction he is. So this cool little armature that's just on the back. Um, 
and the wings itself are really cool. They have some articulation points that go up and down for some pivoting. You know, he loves to stab these things into the ground and they articulate forward and wrap so that if they're on Sam's back and Sam comes with his uh, standard backpack and you pop that one off and you can put on this version here. And once this one's on, then you can kind of have those wings that can pivot forward and go down up, they can drop down a little bit. So there's a lot of movement in them. Each wing has three points, some really cool poses. The red, red wing alternate, and you guys all know one of the big uh, sticks of this whole series was who will uh, wield the shield. And while Sam's shield has the straps that goes onto his arm, if he beats down uh, John Walker and takes John Walker's shield from the toy, which has the post, there's a post hole in the back of this shield that allow, or a backpack, which allows you to plug the shield, John, John's shield onto his back, um, which you saw him flying around with the shield on his back, which was so cool. And I know the last time we did this character in classic form, we didn't have the wings and that was a, you know, a big miss for some of you fans. So now we get to make right with an awesome new uh, MCU version of Sam with backpack, with uh, red wing, with shield, and he's just awesome a great figure we hope you guys love him and you know little flight stand as well yeah and just having played with this it's it's really solid the the way that stand works you can get him you can have him just standing straight you can kind of have him flying like that when we did the vulture build a figure wings in 2017 for the homecoming wave those wings were a bit larger but like the stand was was kind of awkward. Like I always had trouble standing it up at my desk. He had to be very still and he would just get knocked over very easily. This is very sturdy, um, so easier for display. And of course, you know, big things for the new Captain America in the future. So really glad to have him uh, in all his glory uh, in, in this wave. So there you have it, the seven figure three show, Disney plus Legends wave. We can take a look at the full uh, lineup here. This will be available for pre-order on the Hasbro Pulse and, and other retailers starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time later today. Um, be a little patient if it's not up right away. You guys know how the pre-orders work, but but rest assured this will, this will be out there. And then every figure comes with a piece of the Build-A-Figure wings. The Captain America figure comes with the plain backpack and the shields with the straps as Dwight was walking through everything. So there you have it. Thank you guys for your patience on the Disney Plus stuff. We're not done yet. There's more Disney Plus shows coming out um, that have been announced and even some maybe that haven't been, but like we are in development for stuff in 22. We have more, a lot more stuff for 2021 this year. So it's a big year. Continue to enjoy those uh, as we do. So before we get out of here, we did want to throw in some additional teases that you definitely haven't seen before uh, related to comic books because we were all big comic fans and, and we continue making comic legends all the time. So the first thing I'm going to queue up here, we'll throw an image up on the screen. This was a character going back now to San Diego Comic-Con in 2018 so way back when dwight and i and the team were were with you all in the in the conference room there and we made a really fun um 3d video with uh, a disney song in the background but this is where we unveiled the modern hercules standing very proudly there uh for the avengers endgame what ended up being the wave one in 2019 for avengers endgame so we had this great hercules figure but i know dwight Tony, Ben, and the team who are big comic fans, they wanted really deep down a six inch version of the classic, more, you know, Olympian kind of version of Hercules. And this one was done many, many years ago in three and three quarter inch scale in, in the Marvel Universe line, which was really ahead of its time. We have we have a shot of that there. So I think the team, right, Dwight, has been eager to to get this version in six inch. Yeah, most definitely. Um, we had done what uh, a Legends Hercules way back back in 2007, I think, uh, and then this modern one, and now we wanted to go revisit a different look from the past. So um, here's a little peek of a beautiful piece of art that the photo uh, or the, the painting studio put together for us with a digital render of this character. So this is Hercules looking amazing. He is awesome. He's got all the right amount of uh, chest hair, shoulder hair, uh, bicep hair, tricep hair, beard, He's a very hairy figure, um, but he's Hercules, and you know he can pull it off. We've had, you know, hairy back palms on Hyde. We got 
lot of hair here. We got a we got a whole grooming thing going um, uh, this year with Legends, which is maybe a little awkward and weird, but you know we're here now, so we're just gonna go all in. What an amazing render! That looks so good. Can't wait for it. Thanks to the the model shop team for generating those. We'll, we will be trying to do more of those types of reveals moving forward. And that figure, yeah, he does come with the golden mace uh, weapon accessory. So that's a fun, a new fun piece for him to to swing around there. So Hercules will be coming out later this year. How we're not really saying just yet, but the figure looks amazing, and, and we think you're going to enjoy it. Um, moving along to another comic beat. It is the 60th anniversary of the Fantastic Four this year in 2021, as we talked about, as we teased the next HasLab project that is Fantastic Four themed. So continuing just the Fantastic Four celebration this year, um, let's take a look at Johnny Storm, Human Torch, uh, some of our recent items there. So this was our 2017, I believe, um, Human Torch figure. That This was the first time the four of them came out uh, in a long time. This was a Walgreens exclusive in the U.S. Um, so this is his kind of cla- his, um, modern kind of flamed on version. And then last year in 2020, we did the, in the Super Scroll wave, it was his depowered uh, suit there in the more modern um, black costumes. So we've, we've got the depowered version. And then in three and three quarter, we just came out with the classic uh flamed on version with the little black deco lines i think this is my favorite one of probably my favorite figure from from wave one all right and one more note here on these marvel legends 375 they're actually going to be available on the hasbro pulse now and they will be sold in sealed case packs so you will guarantee yourselves a minty on minty on card unpunched set uh, of every single wave so wave one human torch here go get them all the other waves um, coming out later this year. Love Retro 375. If you're kind of following the pattern we're setting up here, uh, we haven't really done a depowered classic Johnny Storm in a long, long while. So we are going to show you another awesome render here for a classic Johnny. What's going on here with this figure, Dwight? Flame on, flame off, flame on, flame off. This is a great look of his classic blue and white costume. So it's an all new color palette. Will there be more? Who knows? I guess time will tell if we'll get to see more of our Fantastic Four friends in their blue and whites. Um, but he comes with um, uh, hands that are just starting to flame on and some flame effects that you can put around his wrist uh, if you want to give him like the hint of the power uh, within. Um, he's also got his standard white punching gloves. You know, we love that. And uh, it's just, a, I don't know. It's a, it's one of my favorite uh, Fantastic Four looks. The classic blue and white has always been uh, top of my list. And uh, it's really cool to visit it here um, for the first time. The dogs. The dogs Sorry. love the Johnny Storm <laughs> figure, too. <laughs> it's his favorite. Their favorites. Their favorites. They, so that will be coming out later this year. How, when, who knows? Stay tuned for more. It's, it's the year of the Fantastic Four. And then the last thing we wanted to get out, get out of here uh, and tease with is a question on the Army Builders. So this is this was actually one of the questions submitted during uh, Fan Fest, and Jackie Jennings, the host, answered it, um, saying, basically confirming what, what we've teased all along is, yes, there are more Army Builders coming. So in addition to your Hydra, AIM, and Hellfire Club, uh, army builders there there will be more for 2021 and i think dwight has a little sneak peek in hand to show you we can take a look at that if he has it ready yeah just a little uh little pew pew action coming a uh, little soldier uh of some sorts with some uh blasters so there's a little hint a little tease with a rain with a brand new rainbow deco scheme right yes right there's just some really uh, unique mold colors there so you guys have seen the next troop builder there. And then uh, Jackie said there'd be, there'll be good guys, bad guys, and maybe space guys. So we wanted to get out of here with uh, one more accessory tease. We know how much you loved accessory teases in the past because uh, they lead to a lot of speculation. I don't know if you can see what I'm pointing to here. Um, so show them, what we, show them what we got here. Let's throw that on screen. What is this new piece? We've got an amazing new uh, space hair dryer, I think. You know, grooming, Space grooming one hundred and one. 
Yeah, that's the that's the theme for this year, grooming 101. I mean, you know, if we're going to go grooming 101, we got, you know, space hair dryers, we've got uh, all of the other, you know, things if you got to if you got to, you know, take care of yourself and you got to, you know, blow dry that hair, you know, what better way to do it than with that hair dryer and then, you know, here's another uh, little uh, little uh, what could we, do you guys want to end this with one more little tease since we're in this weird weird, weird uh, body hair uh, grooming theme thing. So yeah, uh, I mean, you more, started uh, it, so we're locked comment. in here. Yeah, here we go. This is the hairiest uh, action figure we've done to date. It's got, uh, let's see, it's got trap hair, lat hair, shoulder hair, bicep hair, tricep hair, chest hair, uh, beard hair, hair hair. So uh, a new, uh, uh, really, uh, really the the hairiest of uh, one of my favorite mutants of all times, uh, a little uh, hairy, bare-chested uh, Logan for somewhere down the line. And the hair thing ends here. We're, we're right. done with the done. <laughs> no, we're, let's we'll, we'll move on to something something equally awkward next time. I was gonna say I look forward to what the next uh, hair beat will be next time. But um, yeah. So thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thanks for your support. Go out and get the Shang Chi wave now and pre-order your Disney Plus Build a Figure wave. We've got a lot more to come. It's only April. Uh, hard to believe, but um, stay tuned. Marvel Mondays, Marvel must-haves on Disney+, Plus, social media. Keep checking on with the Hasbro Pulse. Thank you, guys, and we will catch you next time.